Have you heard of product bundles on Amazon? And do you want to learn how to find products to bundle on Amazon so you can eliminate your competition? Look, I will answer these questions and more in today's episode of the Amazon Files brought to you by Mommy Income. I am your host, Kristen Ostrander. And if you're new here, I want to first quickly introduce myself. There's a lot of new people, uh, new followers every single day, new uh, visitors, new listeners to the podcast and the YouTube channel. So brief intro, I am the founder and owner of mommyincome.com where I teach people to start and grow e-commerce businesses. And I have over 20 years of e-commerce experience and I've made my first million on Amazon FBA with my unique bundling strategy. I have expertise in Amazon FBA, eBay, course building, coaching and mentorship. And I love to share my knowledge and be a part of other people's success. So that's why I'm here. And I want to ask you right now, before we dive into this uh, brief video, I want to ask you to subscribe to the channel and follow, check us out on social media. And also in the comments, let us know what you'd like to learn more about. I love to make videos that will give you aha moments and help you move the needle in your e-commerce businesses. So let us know what else you need to learn. What do you need to learn here and now that we can help you break through? So please let us know in the chat there. Okay, now what are bundles? Well, go back to my last episode. I am not going to tell you over and over what wholesale bundles are on Amazon. It's my unique business model that I use. And we talked about product bundles a couple of episodes ago, even last week episode. So please, we release content every single week. Please check out our last episode, the Amazon files. So if you're listening on podcasts or if you haven't listened to the podcast or YouTube, wherever you are listening and watching, go back and listen to that last episode about what are bundles. Cause I'm not going to go over that again here. I want to keep this brief and I want you to understand exactly why and how to create bundles to create more revenue for yourself and all of your stores. So we're not going to cover what bundles are today. We did that last week, but today we're going to dive in more to research and how to find profitable products to put into your bundles. Now, this is all about the research. This is different than other things that you're going to hear of when people first start Amazon FBA or they do different things. They, they oftentimes either sell some things around their house or they dive right into trying to make a whole bunch of money. But research is the key to success on any e-commerce platform. You need to know what products people are wanting, buying, and what kind of uh, margin you can make on these products. I mean, because it's all about, I don't care if you sell patio furniture or feathers. You need to make sure that you're making the right profit margin and then you're selling products that people want and that are not highly competitive because deeper pockets get better discounts and they're going to outbeat you on price every time. So we want to bring creativity to the table and we need to be able to research both manually and automatically now we have wonderful things called AI and we have software and we have different things that we can rely on to give us the data. The data is what helps us make profitable product decisions based on the data that's out there and also based on what the customers want and need. First and foremost, when it comes to research, you, auto, automation is helpful, but you, using AI and tools and software helps make finding products and profitable products easier. However, in order to use AI, in order to use a lot of these softwares, you have to first come up with a question you're asking it or a problem that you have that you can, that you'd like to solve for your customers. So market research, when it comes to bundling and finding profitable products to bundle together, there's a third, few ways that we don't do this. We're not trying to get around catalog rules and restricted brands and things like that to be like, well, if I just create my own brand and then I put a bunch of stuff like Reese's Hershey's chocolate or something in the box, then I can steal all of the profit share of those items and I can get around competition because people can't hijack my listing. And no, that is not how we do this. What we do is we think of a problem to solve or a need to meet in the marketplace. What, who, what, when, where, why, and how? Who needs your product bundle? Why do they need it? Why do they want it? What's the purpose they're buying it? Because honestly, if you're just trying to two, put two brand name items together in the same package so that you can circumvent the Amazon rules, you're not going to A, succeed, and B, you're going to have errors, problems, and probably Amazon knocking at your door with policy violations, which we don't want. So we need to create bundles properly. We need to list them properly. We need to brand them properly. We need to do all the things that Amazon says is part of the rules of bundling. And then it's about creating products that customers want. So the market research is going to start with a pen and paper or a keyboard in a brainstorming session. What problem are you going to solve or need you are going to meet with your product? So I was looking for a product recently and it was unavailable online. 
and I couldn't find it in a store. And it's like really frustrating. Like I have a hard time not getting frustrated with things that I can't find. And so if it solves a problem or meets a need, if they can't find it anywhere else but Amazon, that solves a problem or meets a need. So think about that. Another reason that Amazon already solves some problems your customers have. They're looking for fast, free delivery to their door. They don't want to go shopping. They don't want to go pick out some stuff. And one of the number one things that people don't want to shop for and pick out like that are gifts gifts for people for all kinds of reasons. There's so many, re every single day, a million times a day, uh, people all have birthdays. They have weddings, they have baby showers, they have graduations, they have things you want to celebrate. And therefore there's gifts for retirement, for well-being, for sympathy gifts, for all kinds of ways that people want to give something to someone else. And Amazon makes this super easy. But what it doesn't make easy, is it pretty? Is it nice? Is it well packaged? Is it going to arrive there? People get nervous about, hey, I'm sending this $50 gift across the country from California to New York. And I want to make sure that it's going to look good and be a good gift and be a, the right price range and be exactly what they need and not arrive broken. And we can prevent that by doing wholesale bundles and making sure they're done well and done nice and all pre-packaged in a beautiful scenario. To discover that need, you need to answer some questions. What are some things that you have been able to find, unable to find? Or is there a gift in a situ certain situation? Maybe you are looking for to send a gift for someone. Maybe they lost their pet. And uh, this recently happened to a friend of ours. And I was trying to think of what is a good gift to send to somebody who is just saying, hey, I'm thinking of you. And I'm so sorry that you lost a member of your family, aka your pet. And I'm wondering about just sending them something to let you know that they care. So that's like a need or problem that you have that you want to reach there. Um, another thing like I could think of recently, you think of your own life. So this is just brainstorming. Spend a 15 minute hustle. And if you don't know what a 15 minute hustle is, go read my book, uh, Dream Big, Step Small. You can listen to it on Audible. It's on Kindle. It's on Amazon. It's on my website. You can get a signed copy, Dream Big, Step Small. And in there is a whole description of the 15 minute hustle. You can also get it on my website, the 15 minute hustle package there. But it's basically taking everything that you want and putting it in 15 minute chunks. So take a 15 minute hustle and sit down and just brainstorm. Like what are the, the last 10 things that you bought or what is the last few things or you couldn't find something that fit the right bill for what you were looking for. I'm trying to send this pet sympathy gift and I'm just trying to figure out what's going to be like, I don't know, nothing's going to fill the hole of losing your pet, but I want people to understand that I'm here for them and I love them and I'm sorry for their loss, really. And so what are some options that I have and looking on Amazon and I'm like, oh, some of these things don't make sense. Some of them are okay. Some of them are too expensive. Some of them are too cheesy. So th there's always options. There's not something that one one thing that fits everybody. Here's another thing. My my kids are moving out soon. <laughs> Lord really. No. They both have some plans to move out actually this coming year. And so what do they need? Like apartment or first house starter kit where you're going from having a 12 by 12 room in your parents' house or maybe a college dorm to literally your own place. You need absolutely everything from a broom and cleaning supplies to all the spices in your cupboard to silverware and cooking utensils and rugs and, and furniture and just curtains and every single thing. And that is pricey and expensive and difficult for someone to shoulder all of that, all of that on their own. So yeah, some people have housewarming parties and things like that, but still you're not going to get everything. What about a first house kit that's, it solves a problem. It's, oh my gosh, apartment starter or something where you have all the cleaning supplies in once, like you put a broom and a duster and like micro microfiber cloths and certain things that, that can help you, rubber gloves and whatever. You don't think about those things when you're moving out until you go to clean your bathtub and you're like, oh, my mom used to do this with a scouring pad and some barkeeper's friend and like rubber gloves because maybe they didn't ever have to do that. See, my kids have been taught how to clean because I don't want to do it all myself. They know, but then that's not stuff that you really think about. You're thinking I'm moving and yeah, maybe need a couch and a table and chairs, but then you go to stir your first scrambled eggs or something and you don't even have a rubber spatula. So you guys get the point here. My kids are moving out. They need everything. Is there a starter kit that you can put together that would be a great... So thinking about the products that would be in there and it doesn't mean it has to be every product product. Just thinking about taking that time to ask yourself some of the recent problems. What would people run into here? What would everyone run to there? What is a recent problem that you've had that you've solved with a product? right? If your hair is falling out, you go and look for products that are like hair loss treatments and things like that. If you're, if you want teeth whitening for whatever reason, you're going to look at teeth whitening kids or call your dentist or there's lots of products that solve problems. And how do they solve problems in a way? I mean, just talking about teeth whitening, you can put together a teeth whitening kit that, that includes like the little things that you put strips and specific toothpaste and specific tips and tricks that could be a bundle that you put together. 
even going back to the apartment starter kit, like bathroom sets and uh, cleaning supplies or kitchen starter where it comes with all the major spices, not a spice rack necessarily, but just like all your basics that you're going to need. Maybe it's a thing of oil, a thing of baking soda, salt, pepper, garlic, like all the like main stuff, but not just like, here's a spice rack. I mean, to be honest, a lot of people don't use a spice rack, all the spices in it. It's just, it's not as common. Like you use your favorite staples of the style of cooking that you have. And some of the other ones are like never used. So I don't always recommend that, but piecemealing it together, like creating your kit and then putting it into a box. It could be box this size or bigger. This is one of mine for my clients. It's amazing. This is a great box. I love it. It's great size. They got their printing on it and everything. So you're, and this just says sending a hug. So sorry, upside down. Yep. So I love that style. So you're bundling now. It doesn't have to be that small depending on what you're bundling, but it can be any sort of size. So look also tip number two about finding products to sell in pro finding products to bundle. You have to start with a problem or an idea or something about, oh, well, this is great, but wouldn't it be greater if it came in bulk or it came in a bigger package or with some of these other things. So those that's the brainstorming that you have to do. Ask questions of yourself that you're going to answer. Who would buy this? Why do they want to buy this? What use is it? And sometimes it's very basic and simple. This is not complicated stuff. But it can be very basic and simple for you to say, hey, I'm going to a baby shower and maybe I don't want to pick out of the registry because maybe you think that's boring or you just want to pick something different and out of the box. I love to give things that people don't usually get. That's just me personally. I find it more exciting to the, oh yeah, I can buy this jumper thing on your registry and maybe I will do that. But then I also want to give you this other thing that I think is awesome and most people haven't heard of it or just different. That's kind of me. Uh, I like to be a little bit different when it comes to gift giving. So that's a, a way, those are who, what, when, where, why of what you're, what you want to sell. Or even if you start with a single unit product. So we teach this in the wholesale bundle system is um, you can even start by saying, okay, what are your recently sold items? Look at your store and say, what have you sold the most of? What is your best selling item? Or what did you sell? Maybe an arbitrage that you sold out of and you thought, gosh, I wish I could get more of that or what goes with it. Look at what people buy with that item. Look at other platforms. So if you're talking about these baby shower gifts, I mean, look at like trending baby shower gifts for 2024. And then look it up on Pinterest, Google it. Look it up on eBay, look it up on some of these mommy blogs and just do 15 minutes of research. You guys, this doesn't have to take all day, all the time, 24 seven. You can piecemeal these things together if you're super focused. Say, I'm gonna spend 15 minutes looking at baby shower gifts on Pinterest for this year and see what's trending and see what's cool and see what people are doing and then see if I can make a bundle from that. Baby shower gifts for boys, baby shower gifts for men. I've even seen adoption gift just putting things together there's a lot of single unit items on amazon as well so you don't just start there and look there you can say okay what are baptism gift ideas there's all kinds of reasons people give gifts that's why i focus on that your bundles don't have to be gifts by the way they can just be kits or sets that people put together that make sense for all kinds of things i love the curly hair bundle the idea that y'all have no idea what it takes to get this hair it's actually really easy it's uh, soaking wet and we use like a cheesecloth towel to wrap my hair up and then I scrunch my product in and I fluff it and I leave it. It's that simple. But those products that you use, the things that you do a wide tooth comb and making sure you have your conditioner for your shower and then those you know, cheesecloth sackcloths that I use are really thin ones. They don't pull all the moisture out, right? And then your favorite product that can be put together in a bundle, curly hair bundle hair maintenance, whatever you want to do. I mean, the sky is the limit when it comes to your creativity, but you have to solve a specific problem that people are actually looking to solve with product. You don't just take one thing and be like, oh, this is selling really well. How, what do I slap together with it so that I can get rid of the competition? No, who, what, when, where, why, and how define that. Tell me how your product is different and set apart than other people's. Why is your bundle going to be purchased over somebody else's single unit item or even another bundle that's out there? Why does someone want yours? What sets it apart? What's different and what's in demand? Those are the differences there. Look at what makes sense together and look at other platforms. Look at Etsy, look at eBay, look at blogs and just, what is it? Reddit. I mean, Reddit's kind of a black hole and at your own risk too but this whole point what what makes sense together what's used together in a way that brings convenience and variety to the customer this isn't about you and your product bottom line and your margins i'm going to say that again for people who didn't hear me bundling is not all about what's profitable to you and your bottom line yes we're going to build bundles that pad our bottom line less is more we're going to sell more bundles at a bigger margin and not have to do 5,000 units a day we don't have to sell that we 
don't have to sell that many units. When you're selling bundles and you have a good margin, you don't need to have to sell thousands of units in order to make a difference. I'm telling you from the experience. Another thing, follow the rules. Amazon has policies and rules for a minute. We don't have to be so fearful that we're cowering in the corner. I'm like, please don't hurt me, Amazon. They're not after you, but they have policies and rules for a reason because there are those who want to try to use black hat strategies to try to get rid of their competition or list things that, that they shouldn't be listing and getting around the rules you guys can just exit and click exit right now and leave the podcast and unsubscribe if you like to do things backdoor and black hat like we need to be legit we need to be upfront because then we have nothing to worry about but that doesn't mean we have to be so scared of everything that we don't take action if you do something wrong amazon will tell you immediately they won't hesitate so if you're in the wrong, if you're violating something, they're going to tell you. So we don't have to sit here and worry. But the easiest way to do that is to follow the rules to begin with and making sure that you're building bundles properly with brand registry, your own brand. And that doesn't mean that does not mean that you can't include other people's branded items in your box. Not everything in your box has to be generic or made by you. It can be branded. But there's a specific order and a specific way that we do this so that we don't get in trouble with Amazon and that we don't break all of their rules. I'm setting you up legitimately so that eventually you can take your really good selling bundle and put it on Etsy, like some of my other clients are putting on local stores where they're selling it in boutiques and Walmart. Walmart requires UPCs. That's about the only difference between Amazon and Walmart right now, except for Walmart's a little bit more, it doesn't have as many competitors right now. I mean, it, it has a lot of competitors. It depends on what you're selling, but it's open. But there's certain rules that you have to follow to sell there as well. If you can tackle Amazon and you're already doing Amazon, all the other platforms are way easier. So if you're ready to dive into some other platforms, guess what? We have some treats for you in 2024. Um, I'm going to create a lot more content around other platforms as well as Amazon FBA. So keep stay tuned for all the wholesale bundle stuff. We have your back when it comes to Amazon. We're going to start having your back when it comes to other e-commerce platforms as well. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned to that as well. We're going to teach you how to find products. This is what we do. So these are this is just the idea phase. So your homework right now is to sit down for a 15 minute hustle. And if you don't know what that is, then I guess your homework is to get the book and read about it and figure out the book is really inexpensive. I'll even send you a signed copy. Like there's plenty of ways to get the book. So dream big, says small and go to the 15 minute hustle chapter or get the 15 minute hustle bundle on my website, huh, bundle, of course. And just sit down and set a timer. Here's my timer, y'all. This is literally my timer on my desk all the time, 15 minutes and just go. You set it and you go and you can think of everything. Look at your Amazon phone and look at some of the stuff that you sold and be like, what problems can I solve? What are my own problems? What are my problems with my kids, my my spouse, my pets, my everything? What are issues and problems? And oh, I wish I had a product for this or all kinds of stuff. So your goal right now. Your homework right now is to sit down and brainstorm some problems and ideas that you can solve with products or products that go together with other products. And how could I create this into a bundle that people would just love? And that, that the sky's the limit on your creativity, but you gotta start somewhere. So start with some words and put some things on the page. And then you can take those words and take those ideas and go to Merchant Words and look it up. On, or if you have Helium 10 or you have even Amazon, you can look at that. We don't like to start at Amazon because there's easier ways. In the course, we teach you easier ways to do research so you don't always have to go to Amazon. That's where all the competition is. We don't start there. In the framework, you don't even get to Amazon, I think, until step six of the research framework that I have. So just start there. Start with your knowledge rank. What do you know about? What are problems that you solve in your business or in your life or in your neighborhood or at the kids' schools? Or Everybody's got issues and problems. And there's always products that can aid in helping us to get over those humps and those problems. Cooking utensils and cleaning products and car accessories and health and beauty and just all kinds of things so start with your knowledge bank spend a 15 minute hustle researching some bundle ideas products that would go together problems you solve like it could be like the sympathy gift i talked about maybe you guys one of you guys will do one of these apartment starter kits and just let your brain flow for a minute of that get into a place of creativity and just write some of the stuff down there's no bad idea in the beginning you just write everything down and then we start uh, talking about researching those individual items, seeing what else sells with them. Are there other bundles out there? This is part of the process. And if you're just not sure even how to put product bundles together and what goes with what, we're going to be hosting a free bundle challenge coming up where you can take a live bundle challenge and learn how to put uh, product bundles together in a way that kind of makes sense for the customer, things that go well together, some do's and don'ts. This is for anyone who wants to learn more about what it takes to create a real bundle from 
from scratch that is Amazon compliant. It's not just about getting around rules and just hoping to make a few sales before they take down your listing with an IP claim. It's really Amazon compliant ways to, to eliminate your competition, be a little bit more creative and go a long way. To join the wait list on the free bundle challenge, please visit mommyincome.com forward slash free challenge. And this is going to be a free challenge to anyone who's considering bundling. Maybe you haven't heard of bundling. Maybe you're not sure. Maybe you think I'm off my rocker. Fine. Just come to the free challenge and we're going to give you five straight days of homework and action steps and a Q&A sessions. And we're going to follow up at the end of the challenge with all this is going to be live challenge. I'm going to come to you with videos and training, but then also live Q&As where you're like, okay, what about this? What about this? And you're going to be able to see for yourself how bundles can be so advantageous on Amazon. If you do them correctly, if you have customers pain points to solve or needs that they need and that are not met on Amazon already. So mommy and come com forward slash free challenge. I can't wait to teach you more about what bundles are, why they work, and why you need to add them to your Amazon selling strategy. So stay tuned for that and stay tuned for a lot more content. If you subscribe to the channel, you hit the little bell on YouTube, or you make sure you're downloading and subscribing to our podcast, following us on social media. We're always giving you content, not just how to content, but also we know that you're entrepreneurs and you know that you're doing this alone most of the time. Yeah, we have Facebook groups, you have communities, we have all these things. But in the end of the day, we need a little inspiration and motivation to keep us moving. And I am here for that. So make sure you're subscribing everywhere so that you don't miss what we're given. Because what we give to you on Instagram is not the same we give to you on Facebook and not the same thing that we give to you on YouTube because every platform has a different type of audience. So make sure that you're connected everywhere so that you don't miss that and don't miss out on the free challenge. Mommyincome.com forward slash free challenge. I can't wait to teach you a little bit more about bundling and hopefully you'll be the next 2024 success story on Amazon with Wholesale Bundles. So stay tuned. We'll see you guys same time, same place next week on the Amazon Files.